YouTube, what to do? It's your boy J Soul. I'm back with another video. So this is Black History Month. I'm gonna spit some knowledge on y'all. And uh mainly this video is gonna be about why we as black people, why we only care about black history one month of the year. So one thing that doesn't make sense is how many years has your people been enslaved and endured bullshit from oppressors? 400, damn near 500 plus years. So why is it they telling you to only celebrate black history one month of the year and it's the shortest month? And on top of that, y'all fall for it. Because any other time, y'all don't care about black history. Y'all don't care about your ancestors and what the fuck they went through. It's just one month and then it goes on another. To me, that's some fake shit. Your ancestors did not go through slavery for one month. Especially not the shortest month at that. They went through this shit for years and 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 years. Why they and they telling y'all, you know, you know, just worry about it one month of the year. That's it. You don't embrace your ancestors any other time. They they tricked y'all into thinking your ancestors was just goofies hunting animals down with spears, carrying f food on top of their head, just people running around with clothes, with no clothes on. I mean, with just nothing but a desolated land. They put the wrong image. Of the of our ancestors in y'all head, and y'all barely know shit about your ancestors. You ask what, but somebody asks you what Black history is. You gonna start with slavery? Is that that's where you fucked up? All y'all know about Black history is slavery, and that's not our history. That just interrupted our history. There's a whole lot of Black history that y'all don't know, that will blow y'all mind. But that's the reason they don't teach that. They won't tell you that the first beings on this planet were us. First beings on this planet were this color. The first beings on the planet was this color. There was no white people before us. We were the first ones here. And so, and, and I'm not dissing white people or anything, but I'm spitting facts right now and I'm gonna tell you facts. We were the first ones here. And for a while we were the only ones here. There was no white people until they came out the Caucasus Mountains. They were the cavemen. That's their story. They came out the Caucasus Mountains. See, what y'all don't know is what happened for us to fall into slavery. What happened before that? You had the, you think they conquered us trying to come over here, trying to, you know, go to war with us? No, nah, they came in peace. They came in peace trying to learn shit from us. They said, you know, you had scholars who was trying to learn from us. We taught them everything. We taught them how to wash their ass, how to read. We taught them our math. We taught them astrology. We taught them all that shit. We even taught, we even had to tell their ass how to not sleep with their farm animals because that's what was causing disease. They was committing bestiality and we had to teach them how not to do that shit. We had to teach them how to not do that shit. We had to teach them how to not do that shit. And then on top of that, they used our information against us. Most of your Freemasons and Illuminati members, whatever the fuck you want to call them today, they have our information locked underground in the Vatican. That's our information that they don't want us to know. They don't want us to know. See, as an average person, you're not going to think you're in the matrix or you're in an illusion or whatever. Okay. But me, I already know we are. And here's the crazy part. You don't know how special you are. And there's so many things about you that's special. Here, let me show you this real quick. I got a book. Y'all don't read enough. The Melanin and the Brain, Why Darkness Matters. Good ass book and I ain't even finished yet. And look. As soon as you open the book, it gets into some deep shit. But it teaches you about melanin. Neuromelanin to be specific, too. And look, it says, all traces of psychology, a psycho, no, all traces of psychological subjects, including psychotherapy, 
were practiced in Africa by the Egyptians long predated the Greek, Roman, and Hebrew traditions. Traditions. What does that mean? So that means psychological therapy, all that shit was invented by us way before the Greek, Roman, or Hebrew. And you know, them motherfuckers just took everything from us. And they didn't see um let me let me get to a bigger point. One thing we know about our oppressors right now is what? They're not creative. They steal shit. They can't pre-create. So when you understand that your oppressors can't do nothing but steal ideas like Gucci, uh Fendi, all these events was at some point in time inspired by some African art, Egyptian art, or art by us. In auction houses, you will see nothing but our art around the con. That's all from the continent. You feel me? Every time, it's our going for the most. But see, in in the in the museums too. You feel me? Our art and all that. But what we do not realize is the fact that they can't create. So if we can understand that our oppressors can't create, where the fuck you think they begin these concepts and ideas from? The concepts of superheroes, of all this crazy stuff. They can't create this with their minds. They can't even create simple art. But they can do this, mm mm. What you don't know is a lot of these superheroes, it, they make up it's based off your genetics. See, and what you mean? Oh no, you you tweaking, bro. Black people's genetics ain't all that, you know. It ain't on the Superman stuff. Man, man, listen. Let me tell you this. Do you know what the fuck they do to you every day just to make sure your DNA does not fully unlock? Let me explain. Let let me let me really explain real quick. Daily, the food you eat is poisoning you, because either two things happens when you eat: either you're feeding the, either you're feeding yourself something to heal yourself, or you're feeding poison and a disease. Which one is it? And we know what we eat most of the time. Most of your water and toothpaste has fluoride in it to cut off the pineal gland, the third eye. They spray chemtrails in the sky every day just to make sure you ain't breathing no real shit. They use TVs, the phones to record you all the time. They have constant surveillance on you. They have to program you in school to think less of your history. Most of the time, you learning bullshit in school. Most of the time, you learn about some white history that didn't even make no difference. That didn't even make no sense. And then when they teach you black history for that one month out of the whole school year, they don't even teach you right. Because all they show you is motherfucking slave movies. All they show you is motherfucking slave movies. They won't show you what we were before we were slaves. Hell, they barely try. They barely show up these revolutionary movies. They just not showing them. But they won't definitely won't show you what you were before you was before they considered you a slave. They won't show you that because they know because they know our knowledge. And if we know what we are, we're going to rise up to that point. You think they want you to be intelligent? They want you to stay a nigga. They want you to stay ignorant. They want you to stay beefing with your own people. They want you to do that. They want you to stay ignorant. They don't want you to be any type of intelligence. They may they may act like that, but that's never the case. That's never the case. They want us to keep beefing with each other. They know that if a collective of black people works together for once, it's going to be problems. It's going to be big problems. That's what you need to realize. There is no winning for them if we realize who we are. We are gods and goddess. There is no other way around it. That's not saying... We're above the creator. No, that's saying what we actually are. 
and it ain't too far-fetched to even think of because why why do they have to go through so much to make sure we stay ignorant to make sure we stay dumb why do they have to go through so much for us to stay ignorant you feel me they don't even let they don't even let y'all have y'all hair like this or in braids or long at all in school why is that because this is ether not ether these are conduct these are coils to conduct electricity and energy you think i'm lying watch this so got my computer with me so i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna show y'all real quick what nine ether means real quick because that's what you are a nine ether being if you got this in your skin you nine ether there's no other way around it sorry to tell you you need to embrace what you are because if you don't you ain't never gonna know who you are how can you expect to know yourself when you can't even know your past life which is with, with your ancestors how are you supposed to know how are you supposed to even embrace who you are if you don't even know who you are fully? You don't know nothing about this. Or you don't embrace none of this skin. This neuromelanin. This dark matter energy manifested in the physical realm. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about it. Because that's what it is. They call it antimatter in science. But in reality, it's called dark matter energy. And we're full of it. Dark matter energy, and there's a whole lot of other energy in us too, but they don't want us to know that. Why do you think we have to cut our locks for certain jobs or to go to certain schools? They don't want none of this. They know the power 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 of this. So let's, let's look real quick. Alright, let's see. Wait for my stuff to load up right now. Oh, and also, one thing we also gonna get out the way. 666. In Christianity, they tell you that's the mark of the beast or, you know, the, I mean, the number of the beast. That's them they calling us beast. Because if you look up our genetic makeup, protons, neutrons, and electrons. What does that make up to make melanin? Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. Triple six. They told you that was wrong. They told you that was evil. More ways of them trying to demonize us. So, watch when I go to the internet browser and I type in 9 Ephraim. So nine E T E T H E R. So let's do this. Nine oh look, it came right up. Nine E for being. And actually this wasn't here last time. But here, let me let me just give y'all a little glimpse right now. So look what it says. Nine E for beings. Nothing Anywhere can be as powerful as all the existing gases. Therefore, nine ether is the most potent power in all the boundless universes. Nine ether beings utilize the forces that yield energy. Nine ether then personified themselves as flesh and blood beings that became human beings from Adam to to Adam. <laughs> so, and what do you see right there? Pharaohs, Egyptians. And who were they? Let me show you a little bit more real quick. That's what they don't want you to know. But sometimes, some of this info, sometimes, this is how, and this is why they show y'all, they think y'all stupid. Because sometimes there's information you can't look for, but sometimes the information is right there where you can look for it. But in the age of information, but see, you just, they just, they know you ain't going to look for it because they program you to have no interest in this shit. And it's about you. So sometimes the information ain't hard to find, especially the information just comes to me because they know 
I, I look for this information. So this, I'm attracted to this information. It just comes to me sometimes. So it ain't too hard to find. Not at this point in time, at least. So let me just find. Let me just find where the hell because there's this thing where they showed the hair of a nine Eva. All right. This hole you dig right here. Can I enhance this image? I'm trying to. All right, but yeah, now let's get it. So let me just take the camera and do this again. My other side of the camera is fucked up, so that's why I can't switch it around. So, you know, forgive me, y'all. But, you know, let's do it. All right, so 9E for hair. What does that say? Your antennas to consciousness. Antennas, what do they mean by that? This grows directly from your brain. These are, where do you think they got the concept of conductor coils? They got that concept from our hair. This conducts energy. It does. And if you notice, with black people's hair, look at that spiral right there. Look at that spiral right there. Space, matter, time, hair. Three sixes. Your hair naturally makes three sixes in a spiral because that's how black people's hair is. So if I could find a lock that does it, because some of my locks have like little mini coils towards the end. And if not, I'll just put an image up if I, if I don't got them no more. Because there's a little raw thing. Well, I'll just put the image up. But seeing the image, at the bottom of my hair had little coils. And it was coiling up to three sixes. And it was always doing that because that's how black people's hair is. The triple six of us. Melanin. Darkness. We came from darkness. And look. Our hair is connected to nature too. Look at the afro. It looks like some of them trees. Look at that boy's hair. You always notice when you when you had that low cut as a kid when you went to school, it always spiraled up into like a hurricane. That's the universe. That's like a galaxy. Y'all never realized that. Y'all never realized that. I'm just that was just something quick to show y'all, but y'all never realized that. You know? Y'all never realized that. See, my area in my mouth. My ether. But y'all never realized that. You gotta understand how powerful you are. They did, they went out their way so much to hide your history, to make sure you don't grow your hair out, for you not to embrace your spirituality. They gave you religion, they gave you Christianity. They gave you all this just so you can fail. Y'all don't see what's going on, man. Like, y'all don't see what's going on. And y'all don't even know. When our ancestors come back, which they'll come back through you. When you when you expect the UFO to come out of nowhere, you're going to think you're going to see some green or gray alien, gray niggas coming off. You're going to see us come off them bitches. We the ones, bro. We the ones. We created this bitch. We literally created this earth. We did everything for humanity. You don't, you just don't know how deep it is to be black. It's a lot of pain. There's going to be a lot of trouble to deal with it. But you got to realize how deep it is. It's more than just a skin color. It's a cultural thing. It's a spiritual thing. Our spirituality was so powerful and so dangerous to them that they had to cut us off from it and give us something different called Christianity. Telling you to worship a white man. Jesus couldn't do shit for your ancestors, but he could do something for you. He told me he couldn't stop your ancestors from getting raped, burned, lynched, shot, killed, and many other things. But he can help you? That don't even make sense. They don't. Some of y'all just hate yourself. And that's sad to say, but y'all do. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I don't care what nobody thinks. I don't care what nobody thinks. This is the truth. You have to know your history. You have to embrace your ancestors and know who you are. 
nigga, a gram of this. And look, y'all smoke. See, y'all know how much a gram is. Not much. A gram of this is $350 on the black market. What does that tell you about your skin? What does that tell you about the power in you? They ain't telling you, though. Black women, mainly your intestines and guts is the main ones being sold on the black market. You got the Eve gene to give birth to any race of person on this fucking planet. You the closest person dang the God on this bitch. You still ain't hearing me, though. Black women, they've been took you out your divinity, and now you just out here thinking you a hoe, or you think you're not a hoe, hoeing. Black men, they took you out your divinity. They have you acting stupid out here and killing each other over some stupid shit at that. You can't stand ten, you can't stand ten toes down for your race, but you can always go to war with one of your own. I'm not gonna be, I'm not attacking women, I'm not attacking men. I'm telling the truth on both ends. We have to get our shit together, bro. Come on, you better start inspiring each other, start helping each other. Because that low vibrational shit need to stop or we not going to succeed as black people. We not. Honestly. I love my people because I know we can do. I love them. And I appreciate me being. Look, it's a blessing just waking up as this color. At some point in time in middle school, I was insecure about being dark skinned. Until I learned about what it means to be dark skinned. What does it mean to be black? And all the low vibrational motherfuckers gonna talk about your own race of people just because they darker you don't deserve this you don't deserve this pigmentation you don't deserve the, the manifestation of dark matter energy within this room you don't deserve to be black you don't deserve to be one of us because if you have to bleach your skin if you have to oh i don't want to get in the sun because i'm gonna get darker bitch the sun good for you so what if you get darker in the sun the sun's literally good for you black people. It has hydrogen bonds. It gives you the radiation that melanin needs. But you worried about getting darker. The fuck wrong with that? The darker, the better at that. Literally. The fuck wrong with y'all? The fuck wrong with y'all, bro? Like, I keep going on about this, but let me calm down real quick. I just want to let y'all know, like, what's the purpose of this video? I just want to let y'all know that you need to really understand. Because for this video, I'm just giving y'all a little tip of the iceberg of where my mental is and what I do on this channel. I'm here to lift y'all up, but we got to tackle the problems of what's going on with us. We have to talk about them uncomfortable uncom subjects. We have to get to the elephant in the room for us black people. You feel me? So you know what my mental like. You know what time I'm coming on because we need to know this. I don't care if it's uncomfortable. We have to get on this. If we don't tackle this, it's just going to keep going on. Y'all want to talk about breaking generational curses? Tell your kids about your ancestors. Enlighten yourself on your ancestors on real black history. Stop taking a fucking word about it. Learn about your anatomy because everything they told about your body was a fucking lie. You wanna you wanna break some generational curses? Don't let your kids be victim of these stereotypes now. Stop fucking on these motherfuckers. They ain't gonna raise your kids. Maybe you wanna be a single mother. Maybe you wanna be fighting for your kid. I'm not trying to diss y'all, but I got to be straight up on him. I'm not going to hold punch punches back. You want the truth? You have to tackle these uncomfortable subjects. Or otherwise, generational curses aren't going to be great. You're just going to feed them. That's the truth. But, you know, as Jay saw, you know, I'm just here to spread positive energy. I'm here for my people to get better, you know. That's my purpose. I just want people to get better. You feel me? That's all. That's all. Black History, to me, Black History Month is another ordinary month, another ordinary days. Why you say that, Jason?
because Black History Month is every month for me. Black History Day is every day for me. You wanna know why? Because I'm black, because I wake up every day. It's another regular month to me because I live a different lifestyle. I learn about my ancestors every month. Try to learn about them every day or every other day. Try to learn something new every day, every other day. Your ancestors didn't suffer for one month. Not the shortest one at that either. Just saying. So Black History Month, it's another regular month for me. And I ain't to disrespect my ancestors because guess what? I learn about them all the time. I talk about them all the time. I post on my social media about them all the time. Go check my shit. IG as at J So Taboo. Simple. Post about it all the time, man. Can't be ashamed of your ancestors. Know what they fought for. Know what they went through. They had it more rough than us. There ain't no excuses. So if you don't have this knowledge or you're not trying to get this knowledge, that's on you. You feel me? Got books. Read. Read some books. Because there's some you ever wonder why these books be costing three hundred to four hundred dollars? What the price be going up on these books? Because they don't want you to have knowledge. They don't want you to have knowledge. Get these books. This is one of the best books I've read. And the crazy part is, I, I went to this dude's IG page, Original Black God. He be dropping hella gems. Oh, suggesting hella books. Read these books. Because some of these books is all you have left. Because a lot of our ancient scrolls and shit was burnt or either hidden in Vatican so we don't get them. This knowledge is power, bro. Once you know what you can do, what you know you're what you're capable of. Once you know what your ancestors fought for, man, you know that it's all within you. You know that the creator is within you. You know that you can manifest. You feel me? But it's Jay Soul Taboo, you know. I want y'all to enjoy your Black History Month, even though Black History Month is every day, every month to me, you know. I want y'all to actually understand what your ancestors fought for. What was they striving for? You know? Because when you think about it, they went through hell. There's nowhere in the Bible that could tell you that your answer, that you could go anywhere. What have you not seen here? Just like Tupac said, your ancestors went through hell, literally. They went through fucking hell. And if you can actually see vividly, vividly, I mean, if you actually see vividly of what your ancestors went through, you would throw up, you'd be mad, you'd be upset. So don't let all that be in vain, bro. Because they went through too much shit. And honestly, we ain't got no excuses. J-Soul, Tabu, I'm signing out. Peace.